Hey, in this lesson we're going to learn how to use our TI-84 to graph a piecewise function. It's actually pretty simple. You just have to know some very basic rules. So let's go ahead and graph the following piecewise function. x squared plus 11 when x is less than 0. 11 minus 4x when x is between and including 0 and 2. And x squared minus 3x plus 5 when x is greater than 2. Now the first thing you need to make sure is you want to hit the mode key and you want to make sure even though this probably is not imperative it's probably a good idea I'm going to select dot down here you might be able to use connected but I'm going to use dot let's go to y equals now for each part of the function that you put in you want to make sure that you have parentheses so first I start with parentheses x squared plus 11. Now I'm going to close parentheses. Now open a new parentheses and this is where my condition goes. Hit the variable x. I need to make sure that it says x is less than 0. So I'm going to go to test, second test, and choose less than. So I scroll down to option 5. Or I could just hit 5 on the keyboard. Less than 0 close parentheses and that's actually the first condition of my piecewise function. Now I'm going to say plus parentheses and now it's time to type in the next part. 11 minus 4x close parentheses now it's time to type in the condition and I have two of these conditions one of them is x is greater than or equal to 0 so I start parentheses x second test, go back to test, I'm going to choose greater than or equal to, which is option 4, 0, close parenthesis, and then another parenthesis, and x is less than or equal to 2. So x, second, go back to mathematical test, less than or equal to, which is option 6, and then 2, close parenthesis. Now we're ready for the last part. So I say plus, parenthesis, x, squared, oops, not x2, <laughs> let's delete that, x squared, much better, minus 3x plus 5, close parenthesis, and all I have to do now is make sure that x is greater than 2, so x, go back to mathematical test, option 3 is greater than 2. Okay, let me just double check, make sure my stat plots are off, because I don't want to have any of those. Oh, I'm glad I checked it now. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, let's go back to that. They're all off as far as I can tell. Now I'm going to go to my window. Uh, from my window, I'm just going to choose a good old standard, negative 10 to 10 for my x values. I'm going to make sure my x scale is 1. And for y, I'm going to choose negative 20 to 20. Hopefully I've done everything right, so let's go ahead and graph it. And there we go. That is my piecewise function that we can trace right there. So there's my line. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this portion right here. And there's my piecewise function. So that's how you graph a piecewise function in your TI-84 calculator. And I also believe the same method works in TI-83. God bless you, wherever you are today. Praise Father, Son. Praise Father.